Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll take a look at yet another way to run our favorite DOS games. This method is very simple. All you need is a regular web browser. It should be noted that running DOS games in a browser is not something entirely new. As far back as 2015, the Internet Archive website introduced this capability. However, at the time it was quite limited. For instance, saving progress in games was not possible, so you could quickly check out a game, but completing it from start to finish was out of question. But progress never stops, and today I present to you the DOS Zone website. This site is an extensive catalog of DOS games that you can launch right there on the spot. As of now, the website features over 2000 games and the catalog is constantly expanding. All games are fully configured and to start playing all you have to do is click the play button. Once you do that, the game files begin downloading, saving directly in your browser and then the game starts. Pay attention to the floppy disk button. This function allows you to save the current state of the file system at any given moment. Thanks to this, you can save your progress, but this only works for games that support saving natively. That means you need to save in the game first and then click the floppy disk button. After that, you can close your browser and the next time you launch the game, all your save files will be there, ready to load. However, keep in mind that your game data is stored in your browser's local storage. This means that if you open the game on another computer or in a different browser, your saves will not be there. This issue can be solved by using cloud saves, but this feature is only available to paid subscribers. I'll talk more about the subscription later. The website has a special section for mobile optimized games with custom touch controls. In general, any game from the catalog should run on a smartphone, but for most of them, using a keyboard and mouse will provide a much better experience. There is also a multiplayer section. Each game in this section comes with instructions on how to set up the network mode. To find other players, you can join their website's official Discord server. You can find a link to it in the top right corner of the website. Besides DOS games, the catalog also includes some Windows games, which can be launched just as easily by clicking the play button. However, uh, there are two potential issues with these games. The first issue is saving progress. The save button for Windows games is only available with a paid subscription. The second issue is performance. In general, Windows games and even some late-era DOS games can be quite demanding on the emulator. Unfortunately, when it comes to performance, your web browser is not the best environment. When launching games in a standard browser, DOSBox or DOSBox X are used under the hood compiled for the WebAssembly platform. WebAssembly, or WASM, is essentially a type of assembly language, but instead of running on a real physical processor, it runs inside a virtual machine embedded in the browser. This allows developers to write applications in high-level languages like C, C++ or Rust, compile them into the WASM format, and then run them in the browser. This same approach can be used to port existing applications that weren't originally designed for web-based use. This is exactly how DOSBox emulation works in the browser. DOSBox achieves high emulation speed through dynamic recompilation. This means the code of the running game is translated on the fly to match the processor architecture of the system running DOSBox. However, when running DOSBox via WebAssembly, dynamic recompilation does not work, and instead a much slower interpretation mode is used. Because of this, games running in a browser will perform slower if compared to running them in a standalone DOSBox emulator. But there is a solution to this problem, and it's called DOS Browser. This is a special application developed by the creators of DOS Zone that allows you to launch any game from their catalog with maximum performance. Essentially, it's a stripped-down browser that can only open the DOS Zone website, but it comes with a fully functional DOSBox emulator. This version of DOSBox runs without any performance limitations. DOS Browser is available for Windows, Linux, macOS and Android. To demonstrate the advantages of DOS Browser, let's take Quake as an example. Running a time demo in Firefox, I got 39 frames per second, while in the DOS Browser the frame rate raised up to 244 frames per second. In both tests I used software rendering with no 3D acceleration. 
DOS Zone website is built on top of JS DOS platform. With this tool, anyone can embed a DOS game player on their website. To launch a game using JS DOS, it must be properly prepared and packaged into a special JS DOS bundle file. You can create such bundle using the Game Studio tool. I won't go into detail about it, since the creator of JS DOS has already provided an excellent guide on how to do this. Links will be in the video description. Once your game package is ready, you can either host it on your own website or submit it to the DOS Zone catalog. If it passes verification, it will be published on the website. Now let's talk about the paid subscription. At the time of the recording, it costs $1 per month and offers cloud saves, progress saving for Windows games, multiplayer server selection across different regions, access to experimental features, and of course, a way to support the project financially. And that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or have something to add, please leave a comment. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.